Hi, my name is Monique. I currently live in my 2022 Ford Transit Connect van in order to save money so that I can eventually buy land and live a simpler life. And I enjoy sharing snippets of my life with you all. Hello, I just left the gym, had a nice workout, a nice shower, and I was about to go to Best Buy to look for some earbuds because my earbuds broke over a year ago and I just have not replaced them. And I'm starting to feel bad because when I'm on the treadmill, whatever I'm listening to, it's just out loud on my phone. So the people next to me, I just feel a little bad for them because they might be able to hear whatever I'm watching and they might not want to hear what I'm watching. So I finally decided I'm going to get some new earbuds and I also wanted to get a little tripod for my cell phone. I want to like go out and about every now and then and take you all with me so you get to see more than my tiny little van. So I want to get a little tripod and some earbuds. But before driving to the store, I went online to see if they had them in stock and they were not in stock. So then I checked Walmart and the earbuds were in stock, but the tripod was not in stock. So I just ordered on Amazon. <laughs> this is why I rarely leave my van. I just, whenever I need something, I just order on Amazon. If it wasn't for grocery shopping, I would rarely go into places with a lot of people. I do have to, I do have to go to UPS to drop off something else that I just received from Amazon that didn't end up working out. So I wanna go ahead and return that so I can get my money back before the refund window closes. Oh, and I need to get some groceries as well because it's Monday. I've always done my grocery shopping on Sunday, but now that I'm doing gig work on the weekends, when I get off work on Sunday, I just don't want to do anything except relax in my van. So working on Sundays has kind of been throwing off my grocery shopping flow. And then I'll probably just find somewhere to park and do a little bit of work on my laptop.
Bye. I'm so glad Amazon partnered with UPS because returning things is so easy. I could I could barely film anything. <laughs> I was gonna try to like film a little bit. I'm trying to get over my fear of filming in public just a little bit, but it was it happened so fast. I just gave them the box. They didn't even check to see if everything's in there. They never do. Of course, everything is in there when I give them the product, but they just take it, print you a receipt, and you're done. I'll probably go to one of my favorite parks and just sit in the parking lot in my van and work on my laptop. And this is going to be interesting. I have been to this park since this incident happened, but I filmed it actually. I'm going to put the footage in this video. Someone called the cops on me recently. Someone called the cops on me while I was at this park. I wasn't doing anything illegal. I was not parking my van overnight at this park. One thing I don't do is park overnight at public city parks. I personally have never seen a public park that allows overnight parking and public parks are a place that I see cops frequent. So I don't play around with that. I have never in all my years of staying in vehicles have I ever stayed overnight at a park. It was the daytime. I go to this park often. I like to go for walks and then I'll go back to my van, eat something, work on my laptop a little bit. Then I wanna stretch my legs. I'll go for another walk, come back in my van. I'll be at that park for several hours but I never ever parked my car overnight there. But someone saw my van and they didn't like the fact that I had all my windows blacked out because I have a right to privacy. It's my vehicle. I can block out whatever windows I wanna block out, but people don't like that. I think that's why that lady was filming me in that other video. I was at a park then as well. She didn't call the cops on me. She was probably planning to call the cops on me if she saw me again. She just filmed me for a very long time and filmed my license plate number. There's something about parks and blacking out your windows that little that little neighborhood watch people don't like. This dude did not like that. This dude didn't like the fact that my windows were blacked out. So he called the cops on me and told him that I was that I was camping my van at that park. So I'm in my van working on my laptop and I actually had the back window cover off because I was back there and I just like to see what's going on, you know, see a little greenery and trees and stuff. So I didn't have the back window cover on. And I saw this dude circling my van and he was on his cell phone and he was trying to glance at my license plate without looking at my license plate because he didn't know I was in there. He didn't know the back window cover was off. So he, I think he got a little shook when he saw me back there and I was looking at him. So he tried to like be on the phone and, and sneak and get my license plate number. And I watched him. I didn't know he was talking to a cop. I didn't know exactly what he was doing, but I, but I could tell that he was eyeing my van. So then he leaves and I think nothing of it. Next thing you know, I hear I hear like bang, bang, bang. It wasn't even like a knock. This cop was like, I had to check my van to see if there were dents in my van. He was banging so hard on my van. I was like, what the heck? So of course I froze. I froze for a little bit and I didn't know what to do because I, it was scary. Even though it was the middle of the day, I didn't know what that was, so I froze. And then he's like, bang, bang, bang. He starts banging it again. And I yell, what? Stop banging on my van, what? And he's like, come out the van and you'll find out what. So then I peek through the window shade up here and I see it's a cop. So I get my cell phone ready because you know, in 2024, you have to record everything these days. Cause sometimes a police officer's camera likes to just go black or stop, stop working all of a sudden. So when I saw it was a cop, I put my shoes on. I get my camera, start recording and I go outside. And a lot of you who think I'm always this calm, peaceful, kind person, I'm not like that all the time. Like I get an attitude sometimes, I get upset sometimes, and I stand up for myself when the time is needed. And I felt like the time was needed to this time. It probably wasn't. After talking to my family, they were like, Monique, <laughs> Monique, you were doing the most. And I agree with them. But in the heat of the moment, I was just really pissed off and the cop lied on me. Anyways, I'm going to show you the footage here. What? How are you doing? You ain't hear me knocking on the window? I heard someone banging. And why you say what? Because you seem kind of hostile. I don't understand. I see what... I've been standing here for a... Oh, but I seem hostile. Yeah. You scream, scream, stop knocking on my window. Yeah. 
can't hang out in the park like this. If you, I don't know if you're homeless and what your situation no, is. No, I can be here. I was just literally walking around the park. Okay, it's weird that you're here like this and it's blacked out like that. Can you just park in that parking lot? Then people won't be calling on the vehicle. That's all. It's That's not, all but, I wanted to say when but, I knocked on the window the first time and you got a little. But I'm not, I'm I'm not breaking a law though. But I'm not you breaking are. a law. You are. I'm going to go walk around the park. Okay, walk around the park. Mm -hmm. The band won't be here when you get back. Why wouldn't it be here when I get back? Walk around the park. We're gonna be here when you get back, but you can park right over there and it's fine. Over where? Right in that parking lot over there. What parking lot? Across the street. But this is a public park. Right. But you're not utilizing the park. You're sleeping. I your I was urban not camping, sleeping. Which is against the law. I'm not. You don't have any proof. Okay. I literally have Man, dash what cam. I don't want to do. I have dash what cam. I, that's fine. What I don't want to do is argue with you, debate with you. You're because not towing one of my two car. Things that you can do. You can just go over there in that parking lot, and you're fine. No. You're not in the public park. If you stay in a this parking lot, I'm about park. to call my tow truck in the city of. Look it up. Say, hey, what's urban camping in the city? of not camping. You ask, you ask, you're you, but you're, you're, you're lying. But you you're lying. You're lying. So you want to argue is what you want to do. I don't want to argue. You're lying. I'm not going to do that. I'm a little, have too much call, call your that. people. You're lying. That's fine. I'm going to call There's, there's no, are, right. the heck? They're right here on my car. Put my keys up. This cop straight up lied on me. He said that I was urban camping, I had been sleeping there overnight, that I wasn't using the park facilities, that I was sleeping in my van when he was banging on my door. He just lied. And then he's, and then he's saying he's gonna tow my car because I was sleeping in my van and not using the park facilities. Just like a 100% lie. He just made up a whole story. Whatever story that dude told him, he went with it and then added more to it. seen lots of deer in my life but I've never been this close to one like right on the trail hi little deer and he was going to write a false report because he would have to file a report about this whole incident everything in his report would have been a lie and he was okay with that. He was okay with filing a false report on me and towing my car for no reason, just based on the lies that he and that other guy made up about me. And that pissed me off. I was so upset. I had to call my loved ones and they had to talk me down. And they were like, Cause <laughs> because I was like, I'm not leaving, call your people. I went and sat in my front seat and I was like, I'm gonna stand my ground. This cop is straight up lying on me. And I know some of them do that sometimes, you know, they just lie and they stick together and they'll stick to their lie. And I know it wouldn't have turned out well for me, but in the moment, you don't think straight sometimes. <laughs> and I was really, really pissed off. Like one thing I don't like is when a person just straight up lies on me and I'm telling you the truth. I'm like, no, that's not what happened. This is what happened, is really what happened. And then they're just like, no, like, no, the truth isn't convenient for me. So this is what I'm gonna say about you. And this is what I'm gonna stick with. Oh, that, that really irks me. People can gossip about me. I've told you about the time I was called a witch and everything. People can gossip about me and make up stories about me and everything and in that type of situation. And I'm just like, whatever, I don't care, you don't matter. But in situations where someone is going to like punish me, you know, take my vehicle, give me a ticket, punish me like take away my rights tell me I can't go to the park anymore just like what I considered like a punishment for something that I didn't even do because of a story that you just made up that's frustrating <laughs> in the moment I did not react well but after talking to family and everyone I calmed down I got the cops business card and I left to, to avoid my car being illegally towed because he was going to illegally tow it. After having some time to think about it, and I cried. <laughs> I'm one of those people, not because I was sad, I'm someone who cries when I get when I get frustrated, I do. 
I'm just so pissed off at a person and I don't have any way to release it because I'm not gonna hit you. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna hit you or put my hands on anyone or do anything like that. But you know, I'm not gonna do some of the things that other people might do to release their frustrations. So mine, my frustrations will come out in tears. <laughs> so I sat and I was pissed off and I just cried a little bit. And then that made me feel better just to release the frustration. And then I sat in my van, went to sleep, watched some cartoons, tried to get off my mind. And before I went to, and then before I went to bed, I decided I was going to go to the police station and speak to a sergeant or someone above that cop that was there to try to fix the situation and speak to someone who would actually listen to me, listen to the truth. So that's what I did, and I'll show you some of that as well. Hey, how can I help you? Hi. Hi. I wanted to clear something up. So yesterday I was at um, park sitting in my van I go there a few days a week I walk around I work on my laptop I eat my lunch there but I guess someone was peeked out by my van because I had my windows covered okay. I have valuables in my van so someone called the police on me officer Christopher Collier came and he accused me of being homeless and sleeping overnight over there he said he was going to tow my car even though it's a public park and I was doing what everyone else was doing and um, I went so I thought I would come here clear things up show my face if you need my ID because I like to go to that park I don't want to be you know I don't want to creep people out but I also want to be able to go to the park the way everyone else can okay yeah um so I don't know anything about this mm -hmm. um uh, what would you what would you like me to do what would I you just, like to have done I just in case anyone else calls about my van I would like to for you all to know who I am okay. because I don't want to be threatened to be told like he said he was going to tow my car he didn't listen mm -hmm. to my story okay. at all he just believed the person who called, you know? So I just want to be able to- Do you know that someone called or did he, he just- me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think I saw the guy because he was circling my van okay. and was looking at my license plate. Mm -hmm. All right, let me do this. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not his supervisor. Mm -hmm. So what our typical protocol is, is for me to document, mm -hmm. forward it to his supervisor and let them look into it. Mm -hmm. So are you okay with me doing that? Mm -hmm. So is this, are you making a complaint or? I don't, I, mean, I didn't want to make a complaint. I was going to, but I, I just wanted to, to communicate with the police I department. You. I thought that would be better. So if someone else calls about a van, okay. you're like, oh, that's she came here. She explained it. I got you. Where, never, where do you live? Do you live in I, Brookhaven? No, I live in okay. but I work for myself. I okay. used to have an office. I used to have an office literally 10 minutes from that park. So I would leave the office and I would go to I love, I like that part. Okay, so, that's fine, yeah. Yeah. Like public mm -hmm. park. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right, so let me do this. Let me forward all this to his supervisor, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll get to the bottom of it. So one of the things that his supervisors will do is look at the body camera footage and, mm -hmm. and just, you know, just see how everything transpired and what mm -hmm. happened, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I'll make sure that they get back in touch with you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be there today. I just wanted to let you all know. All right, know. yeah. I mean, I can't <laughs> control what, the, you know, if the public yeah. sees you, you know, so okay. the bodies. Um, but know this, that since he made contact with you out there, there's a record of everything. Okay. So if he got your name, he got your vehicle okay. license number and things like that, it's already it's already in the system. Okay. Well, thank you. That's all, all right. I wanted yeah. to do. Okay. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll make sure somebody gets in touch with you and we'll get to the bottom of it. Do you, okay. I mean, was he, was he rude? I mean, is there anything just, like that? I felt it was kind of unprofessional how he wouldn't listen to me. Like, okay. I told him, he kept saying, so you slept here overnight, you slept overnight. And I was like, I have dash cam footage. I can show you leaving and I can show you at 11 when I arrived here. But he was like, no, you're urban camping. And so I thought that was kind of unprofessional because it wasn't true. He was going to tow my car on false pretense. Okay. So that, it was kind of rude, but I don't want to file a complaint. I just want to communicate. Just want to make sure it gets cleared up. Yeah. Okay. I'll, look, I'll look into it. I'll make sure somebody gets reaches back out to you. Okay. okay. So, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I spoke to the sergeant. I explained everything to him. There was even a point in the video where he was like, I mean, it's a public park. You know, if he has no proof that I was sleeping overnight at the park, sleeping in my van when he came up to my van, you know, not using the park facilities. He, if he has no proof, what can he do? It's a public park. I can be there. He cannot tell me I can't be there, even though he told me I can't be there. So I felt a little better speaking to the sergeant, especially telling the sergeant that I was going to go back. I made sure to tell him I'm going back to that park. I'm going back there. It's a public park. I like that park. It's a beautiful park. The sergeant was just like, okay, 
<laughs> I can't do anything if people want to call the cops on you again, but okay. He didn't tell me, no, you can't go back there. So that's how I handled the situation. In the beginning, I did not handle it well. I lost my cool. I was very frustrated. I did not make the smart choice. I know it. I know you're gonna tell me in the comments, Del, but I'm letting you know already, I know it. <laughs> but the second day after cooling off, the second day I feel like I handled it well. I, I'm very happy with this decision that I made to go to the police station and talk to them. And honestly, the only reason I went to the police station is because I'm gonna be in the city for a while. I'm doing gig work, I'm trying to save up my money so that I can travel again, and I'm gonna be in this area for a while. I wish it, if this was an area that I was just traveling through, I was gonna be here for, and I was only gonna be here for a couple of days, I probably wouldn't have cared as much, and I would've just been like, whatever, cop, and I would've just left, because it wouldn't have been worth it. But, but I'm gonna be here at least until the summertime. And I'm gonna go to this park often because like I said, I, I love it. It's a really gorgeous park. So for that reason, I thought I should go to the police station so that hopefully I won't have any more issues when I go to this park. I have been back about three or four times since the incident and I low key, <laughs> I'm petty, I'm petty. Low key, I've, I've been hoping this dude saw me again, but um, I haven't seen him. I don't know if he's seen me, but I haven't seen him and no cop has said anything to me. So we'll see, I'm gonna keep going here and we will see if they call the cops on me again. We'll see if that same cop tries to come and to illegally tow my car. But yeah, I'm gonna take my little butt right back to that park today and tomorrow and whichever other days I feel like it, I'm gonna park in that same spot and I'm gonna put all of my window covers up and work in my van. So other vehicle dwellers, just so you know, you are allowed to be at a public park during the hours that it's open. You can cover your windows as much as you want if you feel like it. You know, people wanna treat us differently when we're not doing anything wrong, we're not littering, we're not freaking begging for money, uh, you know? We're not doing anything except the same things that all the other people at the park are doing. I see so many people sitting in their cars just scrolling on their phone for hours. I see some of the same people, they just sit in their front seat and they just scroll on their phone for hours. They don't even walk around the park like I do but they're not an issue, like I'm an issue because I have a van and my windows are covered and things like that. Like I can't protect my privacy. You are allowed to protect your privacy. You can put your windows up and you can be there during the hours that the park is open. So just so you know, in case, any, in case that something similar happens to you, you can stand up for yourself. But if a cop still tries to break the law and illegally tow your car, don't be like me. Um, <laughs> just leave, get their business card or their badge number and name and leave that's what i would do next time i hope <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go to that park and work on my laptop
I'll just chew on this to get the little bits that I can cut off. I just tasted it and I feel like it needs acid. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this ginger juice and I'm going to add some vinegar because I didn't really taste the ginger the way I wanted to taste it. Why do I do this to myself? Adding the vinegar definitely helped. It's missing one thing and I know what it is. It's missing sweetness. Normally I would add agave nectar, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna add some honey. I think once I add sweetness, it will have everything. That did it. Acidity and sweetness, that's what it was missing. I ended up adding a couple of splashes of this as well. If you try to recreate this sauce, only add this if you are a fish sauce lover. I love fish sauce, but it is an acquired taste. I was gonna put shredded carrots in, but I'll do the broccoli slaw instead. It has carrots in it. This is my dinner, and I'm gonna have it with the side of this kimchi. Oh, duh, I forgot the nori. Where's my nori? <laughs> this was supposed to be a, a nori sushi thing. Okay, <laughs> now it's ready. Got a little bit of everything on this bite. Mango is a must. Have to do the mango. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so 
Nori. This is my first time trying this kimchi and I like it. The kimchi puts it over the top for me. I'm gonna turn the camera off and annihilate this. See you later. Having my apples, yogurt, walnuts, and honey. And I did see all of the suggestions that you all left me for other ways to flavor my yogurt and I'm going to try them all. Thank you for the suggestions.